Good morning, today we're going to talk about the WP410 desk phone and how to make and receive calls. There are three methods of making calls. First, like any phone, is to pick up the handset, dial a number, and then on Wildex you press send or wait a few seconds, and the number is dialed, and then when answered, you're connected. Second method, if you have a headset, is to press the headset button here, press that, and the headset mode comes on. You can then dial the number, press send, and the headset that you have connected will allow you to talk and listen on the call. If you're not using the headset, make sure to take it out of headset mode. The third method is speakerphone. Press the big speaker button here. You'll hear dial tone through the speakers. You can dial a number and send again. And when it's answered, you can now use the speakerphone and the external microphone to talk on the call. Okay, that call's ended. So, receiving a call. You can receive a call by pressing the speaker button and that will have the speakers on again. And now you can talk using the speakerphone. Or if you have a handset, a headset on, you can, if you're in headset mode, you can answer using the headset. Or if you just want to use normal mode, you can answer by picking up the handset. Answer the call. While you're in a call now, you see the display has changed. The transfer, hold, new, cancel. So if you want to transfer a call to someone and introduce them, you would press the transfer button, dial the number you want to transfer to, and then press the check mark. When the other person answers, you can talk to them and say, hey, I've got a call coming in for you. Do you want to take it? If they say yes, then you press transfer and the incoming call and the person you transfer to are now connected. The other method of transfer is the blind transfer. So we answer this call. To do a blind transfer, you press transfer, dial the number, and then transfer. And in this method, you can now put the handset down and the call is ringing at the person you transferred it to. When he answers, he's connected to the incoming call. You'll notice when someone's dialing in, the buttons also change. The second button is forward. If you didn't want to take the call, you can press the forward button and dial a number you wish to forward a call to. And click OK. And that would ring someone else's phone. So if you've got a colleague that you want to take your calls, then you could use that method to forward the incoming calls to them. The third button is silence. If you press the silence, you'll see that the ringtone stops on your phone. The caller, however, still hears the ringtone in his earpiece. And once the timer runs out, on the incoming call, he'll be taken to the unavailable message. Um, and if it's set up, he'll be able to leave a message in your voicemail box. The fourth key on an incoming call is reject. If you don't want to take the call, press the reject button. And immediately the incoming call is rejected. And if set up, the caller will be told you're on the phone um, and will be able to leave a message again in your voicemail. You notice when you get missed calls, the display changes and shows you missed calls. You could view the missed calls by pressing the view button and then go back to the main screen 